Hey guys, Adam Savage here in my cave um, with a fun project today. Uh, I, I'm always banging on about how objects tell stories and there are a few objects that tell a more disturbing story than objects of a medical persuasion. Um, so, uh, for instance, like this, like an old timey syringe, the kind of thing that makes Guillermo del Toro feel warm and toasty at night. Um, these, I, I have a beautiful collection of antique syringes and uh, I would like to turn one of them into an effects syringe. That is the goal. We'll see if I can achieve it. I have some ideas. It's gonna need a retractable needle, but I also may have a, uh, a, a solution for making the fluid disappear. So I'm going to be playing around with, there's gonna be a bit of fits and starts here, but we're gonna end up with a, uh, a, a special effects syringe that will make you feel unpleasant. <laughs> yeah, totally, uh, me too. I don't love needles. Uh, so, yeah. So I just did something which was really hard to do at the beginning of my career, which is cut a nice little hole in a piece of hardened glass. This, this is the bit. It's a double helix cut hardened steel bit. And uh, before I knew about it, life was not as good. Okay, okay. I just want to know if this works. Uh, let's see here. If uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. yeah. I'm actually trying to suck a little bit of glue up into the needle. So I'm doing a proof of concept here. And if I get this to work, that's amazing. If I get this to work, hmm. oh, right, yeah. Okay. Great. Okay. That is a working proof of concept. All right. <clears throat> um, if I'm gonna make this work, I need a couple of things. I need the ability for the fluid to disappear and I need the needle to be able to retract. And I've got some fine brass here, which will work great for a retractable needle. I just need to make the business end of this a little more, um, yeah. So uh, I really like 
this body. It's nice and big and big is scary and scary is awesome. So I think this is going to be the main thing. I'm not going to use its plunger. I'm going to make my own custom plunger for it. And I'm also going to pull off this needle out here and make my own needle arrangement. Because if the needle is going to be retractable, it has to, you can't see the back of the needle sticking up out here. Uh, that's, yeah. Let's see what I, let's see what the art of the possible is, shall we? Um, k &S brass is phenomenal for this because um, each successive size telescopes into the next size. Look at that. Perfect for this kind of thing. Later on, I'll silver plate these. We can put all of the syringes into a Tom Sachs bag. I think he'd approve. So this is the trick, right? It's gonna be like this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just like that. Okay, so I wanna make it travel about an inch and a half. Inch and a half. Let's go for an inch and a half as the travel distance. Excellent. All right, so this is what will eventually be my needle, and it is a piece of 16th inch hollow k &S brass. Now, I have gone to the, uh, I think it's 332nd size, to make a little bit of a collar on the end of the syringe needle uh, as a stop, so that it can go out, but doesn't uh, go past that, doesn't fall out. Now, I made a second little collar like that, and I stuck it in the end of this eighth inch OD, 330 seconds ID, and I stuck that little collar in the end here. So it also acts as a stop. Basically, um, there we go. The two stops mean that the needle can come out and it can go in, and I just need to work out a, a spring for that. I think I have some tiny little springs. And the, this isn't the final length of this, but this is, yeah. So that's what I've done. K and it's all, four pieces of K and S brass have given me this little, uh, this little piston arrangement, and a little bit of silver solder. All right. As far as the spring return, I have found some compression, some uh, extension springs that maybe. Ooh, ooh, that one could definitely be it. Oh, will you fit in there? Well, we'll see. Uh, I. I didn't have any compression springs that did this, but I did have some extension springs. And an extension spring can be turned into a compression spring. What? Yes, all you have to do is pull on it. Um, we'll see how that goes. Hang on, I'm just gonna put all of these back.
just a little too fat. This is just so lightweight. Well, that, yeah, these are the same. Okay, so that, that won't fit. Let's cut that. Great. You can never have too many springs as a maker. You can never have too many springs. You can never. All right. Good. Yeah, that's a retractable needle right there. So, I want to, yeah. I'm going to make one more little tiny collar. I'm gonna slip it into the end of that. I'm gonna solder it in place. And then I will cut my needle to size. Actually, I think I can even make this. Yes, right, right, right. Yeah, I can get even more retraction. What I can do is I can slice this and make that really small. Yeah. Actually, I'm gonna sand it. Actually, I'm gonna sand it, yeah. Oh, what, what? No, no, no. See if I can get this just working here. Ow! Ow! <laughs> what an idiot. Ouch. That was silly. That was a silly execution. All right. I'm going to stop trying to solder this because clearly that's not working. So let's glue. Ah, gluing. Gluing's not going to work. I got to solder it. Okay. Here, let's try. Let's try this. Let's try grabbing the very end of it. Great. I know it's gonna act as kind of a heat sink, but let's see what I can do. All right, I think that's wetting out. Nice. Okay. Good. Now.
Look at how pretty. Yes. There we go. Now I can see all the way up in there. Beauty. All right. I've got the front. Here, let me come over and show you. So I've machined the front piece. Come on, focus. And here's the needle. I've actually drilled out and added that little dude, yeah, right? Oh, 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 yeah, very cool. And then this will sit in this like that, starting to look like a thing. This is great, I'm very happy. Uh, <clears throat> I want to silver plate this. No surgical needle is brass, let's silver plate it. Okay, I have here, some silver electroplating solution and a silver anode. And I'll be doing this with five or six volts. Nope, two to four volts and a pure silver or stainless steel anode. Let's clean this off. Um, Actually, I think I can pull this thing totally off and I can plate this whole thing. But first, let's clean it. We have successfully cleaned it. Now I need a, a little vessel in which to plate it. Okay, that's the plating solution. Here is the silver anode. Let's also clean this off. Okay. And, oh yeah. Let's do this uh, close up. All right, I silver plated the tip. And I'm really happy with it. So the next thing to do, that's the first mechanical problem to solve, right? That's the needle works. Yeah, it's awesome. Now I need to solve the problem of the plunger. Uh, so I need to get a disc in there and seal it is what I need to do. Eight, nine, 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 point eight, nine, nine, nine. Jesus wept. Okay, uh, we are in the law of diminishing returns here because, well, it's very, very hard to get a perfect fitment on an O-ring on the inside of this. I think I've gotten close. I am gonna try to do the fluid trick, but it's it, it's possible the fluid trick might not work. There's a lot of things to go around it. Anyway, um, but this is the plunger. It's hollow. Um, you would never see that in the movie, uh, but um, it has an O-ring in it and it has a threaded hole and it's sealed, right? So I gave a little bit of a proud premonitory in there to hold on to the uh, thing. I tapped that with an 832 screw and I've got some 832 all thread and I'm going to make the outer plunger for this, right? That, that, that thing. And that should be fun. All right, I've tapped this little bit of all thread. So if I thread this in there, it should thread in nicely. Excellent. It does. We won't be seeing the all thread. It's going to be coated. Yeah, there we go. So, yeah, this is nice. 
got this. Good with that one. Great. basic body of the plunger you see that that's the profile I'm gonna clean this up a bit first I'm gonna tap an 832 hole here so I can thread it onto the end of the rod uh, then I will go in with some sanding paper and some emery and other stuff to clean this up polish it up make it look like uh, a little like steel and then that'll be ready for the back of the syringe Nice. Yeah. Oh. oh. That's a lovely part. Oh, I'm very happy with that. Okay, let's polish it up. That's nice. Awesome. There it is. There it is. Yes. Got a nice plunger. Happy with how that came out. Oh yeah, you should be able to see the, there we go. And so, Here's the thing that's so awesome about it is you can, ah, uh, yeah, oh, ah, ah, yeah, you can go right in it. Ah, uh, oh, yeah, we're just gonna put a little Novocaine in there. Maybe over here, we'll do a little like that. Ah, uh, yeah, ah, uh, ah, uh, oh, I gotta oil that up. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That definitely doesn't help.
think I have to add a little. Ooh. Well, I think I need to. Oh, huh. Wait a second. Let me just try a tiny bit. Oh, you know what I think is happening? Interesting. The aluminum is rubbing on the inside of this. Well, again, that's not a necessarily an important problem to solve right now. Look at that. Look at that. So pretty. And when I first got my first stitches, it was right here. It was right here. Seven stitches, 1985. And they had to put four shots of Novocaine. One here. Oh, one here. Oh, one here. Oh, one here. Oh. They used these big old, like, animal veterinarian needles back then in the 80s. Now you could just ask for, like, an a, 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 a insulin needle and you barely feel it. But back then it was like, ah, ah, ooh, watch, ooh, watch, ow, oh, I'm like a pin cushion. Uh, okay, I'm done triggering everybody. Uh, my syringe is done. I'm very happy. I will see you guys next time. Um, I'd love to hear about some disgusting props that are like visceral in how people react to them. Stuff you might have built for a Grand Guignol show or, uh, you know, for Gore's touring show. <laughs> yeah. Tell me in the comments some of the crazy things you built about like this kind of thing because I... I can't get enough of this. I'm taking it home. I'm going to show it at the dinner party we're having tonight.